Hi everyone, it's me, Billow. And now if you're like me, you've got a constant gaggle of kids bandying about getting into mischief and looking for entertainment. And if you're a father of girls like me, then you may find yourself awash in a sea of Barbie dolls. So my daughter Tess and her friends wanted to add some diversity to their playtime and asked if they could borrow one of my G.I. Joes. And you can imagine my dismay. Reluctantly, I agreed, but first, I had to emphasize the fact that G.I. Joe is a real American hero. G.I. Joe real American hero. I insisted on making it very clear to her that G.I. Joe is not a Ken doll. Oh, <laughs> hi. I told her you can borrow G.I. Joe, but I want him doing real American hero stuff. G.I. Joe does hero stuff, like running into bu burning buildings, like jumping out of airplanes, and man stuff, like tailgating at Eagles games, and eating scrapple and drinking bourbon, and he's not gonna be washing dishes or doing any of that dreck. And then I thought about it for a moment and I realized that these are all archetype gender stereotypes that maybe I didn't necessarily want to be reinforcing. I got in touch with my softer side. Because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Of course, I have no problem with G.I. Joe being an archetype male, but I just thought maybe Barbie ought to step up her game a little bit and try and run with the big boys. And you need to tell Barbie that she has got to keep up. She's got to be ready for car chases and eating rare steaks and running and hiking and camping and fishing. Because if G.I. Joe can do it, Barbie can do it too. Barbie, and she can stride along side by side, hand in hand as equals, right? And that's important. So by this time, I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself. And then I started thinking, why does G.I. Joe get to have all the fun? Why should my daughter and her friends have such a positive male influence from a, from a completely fictional character? Because that's my job. And if she's gonna be looking up to anyone, she ought to be looking up to me, because I'm her father. So I went to downtown Philadelphia to the People Prince 3D shop, and I talked to Amanda. And then I went online to find a headless action figure. I've been using this thing for video conference calls all week. <laughs> so all I have to do is put it into a box. And give it to Tess. <laughs> That's a real American hero. Here you go. Wow, this is so cool. Now I can have a housemate besides Ken to do all the dishes and no. cook the dinners and clean the hamster cages while Barbie and G.I. <laughs> Joe are out surfing. No! Well, in the end, I guess I am providing her with good gender role examples. Being a father, being a man is much more than hiking and camping and kayak trips and cleaning hamster cages. For me, it means doing whatever needs to be done, be it laundry or doing the dishes or helping with homework. It also means dedication and it means unconditional love. It means never forgetting what's important, and that's love, family, togetherness, and pride. Thanks for watching. Please think about subscribing. Hi, everybody, it's me, Billo. And if you're like me, then you're 12 inches tall and can't move your mouth. <laughs> the world never gives up. He'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare.